Welcome to Be Here Now Origami. Today we will do a project making this a kusudama. Originally, the kusudama was a ball of herbs that people hung in their homes to ward off evil and to bring good health. Over time, the kusudama became more decorative, but the meaning remains the same. A wish for good health and good fortune. This project takes about 90 minutes from start to finish, including waiting 30 minutes for glue to dry. It has four steps. Step one, fold six modules. When you look at the kusudama, you realize that it has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. In step two, we're going to glue the modules flat and let them dry for 30 minutes. This is what step two looks like. In step three, we will glue the flat modules into a three-dimensional shape. So we're going to take this and turn it into something like a globe. And in step four, we'll tie ribbons on the top and on the bottom. Let's check that you're ready. You are here now. You have created a space and carved out a time to be free from distractions. Your mind is alert. Your body is relaxed. I know your mind is alert. Let's make sure your body is relaxed. First, if it's at all possible for both feet to be flat on the floor or the ground, great. Check that your shoulders are down. Now, check your jaw and your brow. Are they relaxed? Good. Take a deep breath in and release. You have clean hands and a clean, smooth surface to fold on. You have the materials, 12 square pieces of paper. Three 36 inch pieces of ribbon. One 14 inch piece of ribbon. And glue, not paste. These are the things that you got from the Round Valley Public Library in the grab and go kit. There's a couple of other things that can be helpful. A tiny damp rag. Just make certain that this tiny damp rag does not touch any paper. And you might also find that a scissors is helpful too. But these two things are optional. Let's put aside the ribbon and the glue for now. But this is a good time to open the jar of glue because we would like the glue to get a little bit tacky. Just be sure to put it in a place where you're not gonna knock it over. So the challenge of this project is that we need to fold two pieces of paper at the same time. So let's take a close look at the 12 papers that you have. Every kit was unique, and each kit has six pieces of paper that are the same color. Then you have six other pieces of paper of various colors. Let's make the six pieces of paper that are the same color your 
outside paper of your module. And let's make the rest of the papers your inside papers. Now in some cases, some kits had only two colors. And so in that case, you get to decide which six papers will be the outside and which six papers will be the inside. Let's take the inside papers and put them aside for a moment. Let's take the outside papers, put all of them aside except for one because we're going to begin. The outside papers always begin with the white side up. First fold exactly in half. And when I say exactly, the way you achieve that is by lining up your two corners, holding the paper, and then giving a good, strong crease. Open up the paper, shift, and fold in a half again the same way. Line up the corners, hold it in place, and give a good, strong crease. Put this paper aside. Take your inside paper. Inside papers begin with the color side up. Fold this paper in half exactly. Line up the corners. Hold in place. Good, strong crease. Open, shift, and the same fold. You're going to notice that in general, I fold away from myself. And that's to say that I don't normally fold from side to side or towards myself. My preference is to fold away from myself. And so in order to accommodate that preference, I shift my paper. So take your inside paper, put it inside your outside paper. We're trying to tell these two pieces of paper they need to stay together. And so let's carefully fold them again together in this way. Open, shift. Let's fold them together like this. Good. Now they have the idea that they should stay together. We're going to continue from now on folding two pieces of paper at the same time. Next fold is in half diagonally. Now what you do is line up this top corner here Hold it in place, crease it just right here in the center. That's all, because we're going to take the time and care to make certain that this corner forms a perfect 45 degree angle before we commit to the crease. And now let's join this and this. Good strong crease work on the other corner. It's so important in origami to take your time to make each fold as exact as you can. Before you commit, line it up, crease, join these two creases. Open, shift, in half again, diagonally, hold in place, crease it only here in the center, and we're going to work on first this left side, crease, This 
crease. Good. Now the reason that we take so much care in making certain that each fold is as exact as we can possibly make it is that part of the beauty of origami is the precision and the exactness. And those 45 degree angles are right there. Next fold. Fold to this center line there. This edge of the paper just touches it. Hold it in place and give a good strong crease. Now you're noticing that there's that little rim of white there. That's to be expected. These two pieces of paper are the exact same size. And so the inner paper will end up showing the white underside. Shift, same fold. Right to that center line. These two edges should just touch, not overlap. Good strong crease, open, shift. These next two folds are the same, same folds in the other direction. Bring it to the center crease there, hold in place, and crease, shift. Have these edges just touching not overlapping. Hold in place, increase. Open. Now, flip everything over. The next four folds are these four corners being folded to the very center. crease, shift, see how those corners just touch, just touch, hold in place, crease, shift. corners meet in the center. Open. Flip the paper over. Now, focus on this inner square here and bring up the sides of the paper to emphasize that square. Keep bringing it in, bringing it in. Look and see how it just seems to want to fold down into itself. So let's it help it along a little bit. Beginning at 12 o'clock, let's take this portion, just very carefully bring it down, line it up super straight, give it a crease here, here, and down the center. You're just emphasizing the folds that have already been made. Working clockwise. Same thing, just very gently, carefully. Align everything. Give it a crease here, here, and down the center. Next one. just wants to follow the same fold lines that you've already made. Okay, line it up.
crease, crease, crease. Last one. Crease, crease. Great. Now, it's time to start making the folds that will create this effect. Beginning at 9 o'clock. Remember that everything is going to point in, into the center. You're folding this so the edge hits this line here. Moving clockwise. It's pointing in. What's next? What's next? Let's go to three o'clock. Let's make those four folds in the other direction. Remember, everything points in to the center. Moving clockwise. Last one. Okay, this is what it should look like. Everything's pointing in. Now, let's open things up. Beginning at 12 o'clock, stand up this little triangle. Now, open up the triangle. Use the finger of one hand, and then with the finger of another hand, your other hand, you can just squash it down. This is called a squash bowl. And give it a crease there. Moving clockwise, stand up, open up, and squash down. When you squash it down, make sure that this line follows this line. Then you've got a really nice diamond shape. Stand up, open up and squash down. Stand up. Open up. Squash down. Stand up. Open up. Squash down. Stand up. down, stand up, open up, squash down, last one, stand up, open up, and squash down. So, nice. This is what we have to do next. Fold down each one of these corners to form a tab that will eventually glue together. So this is one fold I actually hold the whole thing in my hand like this. There's about four, there's four layers of paper here. So that's a lot, that's pretty thick. And you're gonna fold it down from this point to this point here. So, I, and I use this finger to kind of make Fold it down onto, and then I'm more pinching it just because it's so thick. Next one, fold it down, pinch.
last one. Okay. Well, that's one module. Five more to go. How about we do one more together? And then I'll leave you be to finish. Okay, this is a review. Take your outside paper. In my instance, my outside paper is red. Have the white side up. Fold it in half exactly by lining up the corners. Hold in place, crease. Open, shift, fold in half again. Now take your time, no rushing. Keep breathing. Hold in place, and crease. So that's your outside paper. Take your inside paper, Color side up, fold it in half exactly, hold in place, crease, open, shift, fold it in half, Increase. Put your inside paper inside of your outside paper. Crease it together. Open. Crease it together this direction too. Now they have the message. They need to stay together. Okay. Next fold is in half diagonally. up that corner. Remember this one where we just crease it right there. No further. And now we're going to work on each side going for an exact 45 degree angle. And now join this crease line. Let's go to the other side. it up before you commit to the crease and then join open shift another fold in half diagonally hold in place only crease it here now each side side. Open. We're folding to this center crease line here. Just the edge touches it. Hold in place. Shift. These two edges touch, not overlap. Hold in place, crease, open. Now two folds in this direction. Very symmetrical. touch, no overlapping, and crease. Okay. Now we flip it over and we fold each one of these corners 
into the center. Shift. These two corners just touch. Shift. Four corners come together in the center.